Wednesday, by the way. It's not Wednesday, but yeah. <laughs> but you, just, uh, what happens like when Deirdre sees the shirt? Well, she wants one too. What do you mean? What happens? Well, I thought you know. Does she get the message? The the wow yeah, message? Yes, oh. she does. Oh, okay. No, she had to explain it to her. Okay. Yeah, Idiot. But, but does she comply? <laughs> hey, let me. Uh, That's right. Here's Charles. the thing about you, you, you uh, thieving weasel. That's not fair. Okay. This uh, you're requiring me and Charles to say uh, when we uh, have to do the legal ID WFAN New York. Right. For this stupid station we're on. Mm -hmm. Stop. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so also screaming at WFAN.com. Yes. Well, I tried to I, I tried to listen one time to this idiot station on my computer. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that. You have to you have to sign up and you have to give them a bunch of information. That's just one time you sign up and that's it. No, no. You don't, nothing you happens. We no, just no. Ask. You didn't tell us that this was a deal. I thought you make it sound as though. Yeah. Uh, like I was talking to George Carlin. That's how, that's how he listens to the. Station out in L.A. and apparently George didn't mind giving him a bunch of information. I don't know he's still on a Vicodin and a wine or whatever the hell he's doing. But so make it up. Make one up. D tell him your name is Howard Stern. No, I don't no, no, care. No. I don't know. I don't need to be hassled. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the ass to have to. I don't. But we didn't know that this was some scam that you and Hollander were pulling. No, to, it's not. No scam. By the to way, to try to get information to put us on a sure. bunch of these jibe. Uh, um, we call them Chuck. Well, uh, mailing mean, list it, and that sort of thing. Well, so, no, you're, not get, on, you're not on any mailing list. So by the way, so now we, we're informing you we're not yeah. going to do it anymore. I'm, we're not going I'm, to say. I'm begging you. Well, you're, you're I'm begging you. can do whatever you, you want. We Here's what you better do. Go, 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 get one of your, uh, go get one of your CBS lawyers and have them make us do it. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you please do it? We have enough please. Spam and by the way, go go mail. get uh, the Mike Lynn and David mm -hmm. Boyce's number from Julie and, and have them just call them and not me. We're not doing it anymore. We're not gonna uh -huh. we're not gonna be whores for you Jumping and Hollander and exactly. CBS Radio having to, to jump through a bunch of hoops exactly to get people to listen to this the mess on the computer oh, that, that. when uh, when it when is obviously just just a. Some j uh, jive scam. There is no on the part of you and uh, oh, please. and our and our other Jewish management. Oh, that's to, hard. You are horrible. You are <laughs> to, like a, you to are get, a horrible human to, being. To get our that's names, the point. to get our names on these <laughs> lists and so on, so you can sell us a bunch of crap we, we don't, don't need. Steal we our don't. circles. Yes. We don't, and you're not on any mailing list. No, but you're no, not. because you're not I don't. No, Nobody because is. I do. I, re I refuse to provide them with any yeah. information. Okay. Well, no one gets any mail. You either sign up and listen Spam. or don't listen. You don't get any. Spam I'm giving no us. information. Zip up. Fine. No, I want to simply be able to go to my computer, click on that, that little icon there, and be able to listen to. Well, That's I don't know what I'd listen to actually when I'm off, but. Uh, bing, bang, boom. I thought you love Mike and Chris. I do, but you ever and tried I know, to listen and to I that know, and, I, and I know you I like it when they both talk at once, by the way. <laughs> hey, and another thing yes. get that mouth breathing loser. Well, Rick, Rich Ackerman out of the studio <laughs> now. Today. He's a loser. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a disloyal, mouth-breathing psychopath and a you loser. You know what? You're wrong. He's a and fine... By the, oh, oh, and by the way, the fine check his name. email, okay? Uh, we ought to check your email. Better take his computer. You, you're welcome to check mine anytime. <laughs> okay. I'd like to look at yours and Ackerman. Ackerman. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're emailing each other. Exactly. Right, get out of the studio. Goodbye. Nine Good, minutes after the hour. It's time for a little <laughs> Happy news now. Happy Friday. Yeah, have a nice Friday. Happy have a nice year. weekend, you little See schmuck. You. Nine oh minutes my God. Oh, wow. What is your telephone number? Stop. Uh, I'm your guy, bro. Come on. That's Here's not fair. Uh, here is uh, spam. Chuck stop. 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 Spam. Good grief. Stop, he says. <laughs> my name. In, uh, in the uh, area of Nickel Mines, Pennsylvania today, the morning continues. Another funeral. Now that here's Rush Limbaugh. I'm somewhere in Park. Every morning, Rush. Morning, I'm on. My friends, make no mistake, there is a vast left-wing conspiracy afoot, a shameless attempt to disgrace, discredit, and otherwise dishonor the pristine reputation of a true American hero, Mark Foley. Here's a man who is already an alcoholic and homosexual. Don't you think he's suffered enough? Well, if you're a former president hell-bent on revenge, apparently not. Because if you think that Bill Clinton doesn't have anything to do with this scandal, I'd like a script for whatever it is you're taking. Seriously. Oxys, Vicodin, Delauded, whatever. Mm, fine, fine. I pay cash. When you consider the timing of the release of these emails, so close to the November election, it is clear that Bill Clinton could only be the mastermind behind this conspiracy, because Bubba's been on a quest for retribution ever since Kenneth Starr first saved that blue dress from the one-hour dry cleaners. <laughs> Matt Drudge said it best. 
These congressional pages were engaging in entrapment, enticing the congressmen to send them dirty emails. These anonymous individuals who gave the offending missives to reporters, they are the real culprits here. These strapping, rosy-cheeked, fresh-scrubbed teenage boys, still wet behind the ears, so innocent in their page uniforms, strewn about, bent over the railings of the Capitol building staircase, hair tussled, pants around their ankles, uh, buttocks splayed with a uh, come-hither look over their shoulder as if to say, bugger me, big boy. <laughs> How is a gay drunk supposed to avoid succumbing to that kind of temptation? You look at the transcripts of these instant messages, they are subject to interpretation. On one hand, you can say that Foley's curiosity about the young boy's preferred masturbation techniques was inappropriate, aberrant, and sick. On the other hand, so to speak, you could say that the congressman was merely doing his job as head of the committee to prevent the exploitation of children, demonstrating how easy it is for internet predators to target our kids. After all, isn't advocating masturbation one of the ways to promote the concept of abstinence to young people? Mm -hmm. And the request for the measurement of the penis, that was merely fatherly-like concern for the fact that the young man was in the midst of a growth spurt. <laughs> Forgive the use of both the words growth and spurt, <laughs> but the whole idea of this being pedophilia, the age of consent varies from state to state, and whether it's the district or Virginia or Maryland or even Florida, we are talking about the South here. If the young man in question had only been a 13-year-old girl and a first cousin, Foley could have married him. But sadly, he was merely a fresh-faced, hard-bodied teenage lad, lean and athletic, smooth, clear skin belying the taut, sinewy muscles developed while a member of the junior varsity lacrosse team, still somewhat sweaty from practice, perspiration glistening off a bra. Right. Excuse me, I'll be right back. More after this. Coming up on a quarter after the hour. Some Christian girl and you killed God's only son. I said, Has it occurred to you, you nerd, that that's not very nice? But we choose believe it was Santa Claus that killed Jesus Christ. He said, You know, you don't look Jewish. And there's I could figure. I had you lamp for slightly anemic, well dressed country nigger. No, they ain't making Jews like Jesus in it. They're all on my list. Not to mention the new governor of Texas. Is there anybody else I miss? Well, I hit him with everything that I had a right square between his eyes. I said, I'm gonna get you, you son of a bitch. You're forced by that pack of lies. Yeah, but there's one thing I can't abide. It's an ethnocentric racist. And we ain't gonna let people talk like that. Now the kinky's in charge of Texas. Hold oh, on, they Hey guys, don't... <laughs>